second. Yeah, this is Corey Shill. Hey, this is Mark with the prosecutor's office. Got a message you called? Yeah, Mark. Um, I don't know if you remember me from a year, a few years ago when I had a uh, secure creditor defraud me on a vehicle, and uh, you ended up dismissing charges about it. That case is irrelevant now. The case that I've been trying to get with you with is about an issue that Child Family Services committed slander, which in the statute that I read in the Arkansas law book states that it's a felony in the state of Arkansas, but being that it's a public government official, nobody seems to want to do anything about it. I have all the hard copy documentation proving it. I have the court transcript from the hearing where the man they say that keyed in the information in the log and documented all this uh, false allegations and stuff on government documents came in and said, I have no idea what you're talking about. So all this information I have and you all... Who is that? Representative Alan Clark is trying to represent families against DHS for uh, providing false allegations and stuff like that. And the state police and uh, DHS are saying he's attacking them. Well, no, he's not attacking them. Actually, he's telling the truth. And I'm amazed that no government official, including y'all's office, when this initially happened to my wife, said we're not getting involved. Well, now I filed a federal lawsuit. Somebody's going to get involved. Okay. Well, we normally don't handle slander suits at all. We normally typically done civilly. <clears throat> Even though Arkansas statute portrays it as a felony. Correct. That's just one of those old statutes that's not used anymore. But it can be, being that it's on the books. Yep, it's just not, it's not done. Did you do investigate the case? Uh, DHS, uh, Lisa Jensen was the one who initially did, she's the area director of Sebastian County, and like I said, I called y'all and begged you all back when this initially happened, and I begged her at the same time, don't proceed in this, because unless you have audio, video, or some type of, they didn't even have pictures, sir. What, what, uh, what law enforcement agency investigated your allegations? Nobody. CID told me to call you because they refuse to do anything about it unless they get a letter from your office. CID? Yeah, Criminal Investigation Division. Uh, I know it's CID. What's CID? Okay, Fort Smith State Police. State Police in Fort Smith? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, they don't need authorization from me to investigate a crime. Well, then the detective just lied to my face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm disabled, young man, and you know, I'm just trying to do the right thing, but uh, as a taxpayer and a citizen of this country and of this state, I'm about tired of my family being walked on. What detective did you talk to? He said his name was Kevin. He wouldn't even give his last name. Okay. Well, we don't, we don't handle felonies unless they come from a law enforcement agency they have been investigated in, in those that agency comes to us and is down and discusses whether or not they should pursue charges. And that's how I understood it to be done, but that's not what he explained to me. He said unless we get a letter from the prosecuting attorney, and that is Mark McEwen of Crawford County, and I said, yes, I'm familiar with Mr. McEwen because I've had a case against a young lady that the charges were dismissed, which I still don't understand why you dropped that case, but that was your decision, not mine. Okay. Uh but like I say, this one here, my wife and I have filed a federal lawsuit, and if I got to take all the papers that I got and all the other evidence that I got, and I got to transfer it to the Internet, and I just got to bring out the governor and everybody else for what they are, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, but, uh, who filed your lawsuit? I did. So you got a pending right now? Yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, I've been trying to figure out how to... Uh, take care of the things as far as getting an attorney appointed to me because I'm indigent as far as federal law is concerned, but uh, nobody wants to give me direction in that route. Now, I like how laws are made, but when we, the taxpayers, the citizens, don't know anything about it, it can't be explained to us. I don't, I don't, I'm not positive, but I don't think the federal court's going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Well, 
if they don't need to, I can do it pro se. I got the truth on my side, so if I need to dog somebody for what they are, yeah, I'll slap papers wherever they need to be slapped. And that's not a problem for me. I just I violated no laws. I've done nothing wrong. Attorney. Excuse me? I thought you just said you were waiting for the federal court to appoint you as attorney. No, I've been trying to figure out how to do that. They told me something about a motion, but uh, I've been reading up on law, uh, law things as far as, like, when you went to school and you had to learn about it. Me being layman, I'm not a professional. I'm your average citizen, so that means i got to study on this and i got to read about it. But as far as I'm concerned, what I'm seeing here is an ongoing conspiracy with the situation. And if that's how i got to dictate it to a federal judge, that's how it's going to be dictated. What do you need? Yeah, well, I was needing for you to send them a letter to CID, but as you just explained to me, the officer lied to my face. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that unless it, unless it uh, involves an internal investigation by a department, and the department had requested. Okay. All right, I understand that. Then, like I say, as far as that goes, I guess I'm gonna have to get back on them. Um, I'm sorry, I got another call coming and it keeps interrupting our conversation. Okay. Um, but I appreciate you being decent and calling me back. Okay. No problem. All right. God bless you. Have a good day.